Good morning, folks. Yesterday we watched an M-class solar flare come from the southern active region. Today we see more coming in up top. We've got a lot to cover today, but first let's take a peek at spaceweathernews.com and apart from minor activity over the limb, we don't see much eruptive action, certainly not in Earth's direction. We'll come back to the thin dark plasma filaments in a moment, but first here's the X-ray flux showing the isolated solar flare and now the return to quieter conditions. The southern sunspot is now visible, but we can see it's compact and a relatively simpler group. No visibility yet of what houses the umbral fields on the north. Solar wind is relatively variable, but is doing so in relatively calm ranges. Let's come to ionized helium and 304 angstroms to find the plasma filament standing tall and writhing in the corona. One just past center collapsed and reformed, but it departs now, so those incoming ones are the real focus. You can still see them as we shift to 211 angstroms back to ionized iron, but the focus is on the large coronal hole. Its stream is expected at Earth Tuesday with lithospheric disruptions before that. Last day, the magnitude stayed moderate, but unusual locations took hits in Africa and north of Iceland, where fours happen on a monthly basis, but not fives. So folks, there is major news confirming what many of us have been watching for years. The sun is winding down, not just for the 11-year cycle, but on the 400-year grand cycle down into grand minimum. These scientists are looking at the axial dipole moment to judge the next cycle, and veteran observers know what I'm about to show next. Solar polar fields. Running opposite to sunspots, the reversals here occur at sunspot maxima, and it's the solar minimum where the macro scale fields here are peaking in power. They're axially aligned north and south, and again, they are opposite the sunspots. They are saying that the peak power of the fields indicates how large a sunspot cycle is coming, and based on that, these scientists predict that the next solar maximum will be even weaker than this last one. Also got a link here to the Atlas of the Underworld. A fun name to be sure, but in reality, it's the global mapping of cold slab descent beneath the surface into the mantle. We know all blot echoes hit cold slabs, and this can help us understand where those subterranean shakes might manifest up at the surface. Thoughts with Japan the next 36 hours or so as the super typhoon intensified in the hours after the solar flare, and will take on the island for a major meteorological showdown. Perfect holiday gift for the little ones, donation to your library, etc. Ages 2 and up and pre-orders are going fast. Thank you all for the birthday wishes yesterday. I will never understand how many of you remember it without me saying anything. I'm leaving the website special up for a few more hours, so get in if you need to. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the world's wind maps coming up, null school, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.